Hey, what's up everyone? Today, Data Sun would like to show you how to create an input form for user to input information into our data source. In this case, it is the SharePoint list, a stock deck list. And the special thing about this form is that uh, it allows user to look up uh, the inventory ID from, from another list. Uh, so here we have stock deck list and we have also inventory list. And the they, um, drop down here. Uh, from the drop down here, user can choose the ID uh, of the inventory and in case they cannot find the ID, uh, they can also add a new ID. Let's say 555 into the list and they can uh, input the new uh, inventory item and the uh, extra information and then they click uh, submit and then we can go to here and we refresh our stock deck list uh, we should see the new item added with a new inventory id so you see we have a new inventory id 5555 uh, just uh, newly added a few seconds ago so how can we do this let's start now before we start if you are new to our channel let's subscribe so that you could receive many more tips in the future thank you firstly make sure our app uh, have the uh, connection to the data source uh, here we have to list uh, the stock tech list and inventory list already uh, connected uh, with the app and um, uh, we have several screen already, but uh, we will uh, build a new uh, input form uh, from scratch. Uh, so here we have insert, and then uh, we insert new screen uh, with the form format, and we will connect the uh, data source to this form. Uh, we can choose from here the stock tech list. And uh, uh, we uh, we want to, uh, to to add new item to this form, so we will set a new form for uh, for this uh, screen. Um, so we go back here on the screen. So on visible of this screen, uh, we will have the new form formula. Uh, edit the form five. So this is the form name. So yeah. Okay. And uh, as you can see, we have the inventory ID in the bottom. So we may need to uh, reorder the form a little bit. So we just go into here, edit view, and then we can move the inventory ID to the top. Maybe the the not as well. And um, yeah, the warehouse. Uh, inventory uh, quantity yeah um, then as you can see now uh, we have inventory ID in the top uh, but the problem here is that uh, because the, um, the data type of inventory ID here is the text is the text type uh, so uh, that's why we have the text box here but uh, we want to, uh, 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 to, to, to allow user to look up the inventory ID from the, um, from the inventory list here. Um, so what we can do, what we can do is that uh, we replace with this text box with a combo box. So here you can see in the insert input, we have the drop down and uh, combo box. Uh, in this case, we choose the combo box. Uh, I will explain you why we don't use the rub down in this case, but uh, the combo box. So now we add a combo box here. And Power Apps asks us to select a data source. Uh, 
uh, in this case we want to look up the ID from inventory list so we choose inventory and let's see there is nothing here yet because we need to select the right field for primary text and trust field uh, in this case it should be inventory ID for both yeah and let's have a look now we have the drop down list uh, to look up the ID from inventory and then we can also shop from this list let's see uh, we shop for F so there is one item and we shop for R there are multiple items and one, one, two, three, four, five there are two items uh, but here we only want a distinct list um, so we may need to change the formula a little bit here um, so instead of inventory we use the distinct function uh, inventory source and expression here is we want an inventory ID uh, inventory ID yeah. Yeah, and uh, let's uh, have a look. Um, let's have a look again. Uh, it works now. Maybe some uh, network issue um, for the uh, list to refresh uh, with the formula. And now uh, we will delete. Uh, this text box right uh, yeah and once we delete uh, there is an error here uh, let's have a look at this error okay so this error is the update uh, because we already delete the uh, the uh, uh, the data card so we will replace this data card with the uh, combo box uh, that we just add so the name of our combo box is combo box 10 so we replace com uh, data card value dot text with combo box 10 dot selected so uh, and then uh, result and here also another is here is the um, the height uh, the y so we can replace this one with the combo box 10 right sorry this one with combo box 10 and this one with combo box 10 and now uh, we can enlarge this one yeah, yeah. so now uh, we can do a test here uh, yeah and uh, we can also do here um, we do we allow multiple select uh, selection in this case we don't allow and we allow search uh, in the uh, combo box so So Power Apps uh, doesn't allow us to search. So when I switch on, it automatically switch up. So I may need to change the formula here. Um, so we go back to the um, item, and instead of uh, we we use the the inventory list as the source, we can narrow down a little bit. We just use the uh, inventory ID column as the source um, yeah and we try again uh, yeah in this case now it allow us to to shot for in the combo box and now let's test the form uh, so we can select and unselect the item and we cannot select multiple because uh, we do not allow user to select multiple or id so 
right? Uh, only one is selected, and we can add uh, extra information to the warehouse uh, and inventory quantity. So we can use uh, 999, and we can take a note. Uh, let's say uh, a data slam note one. And yeah, and that's it. And we submit the form. And let's go into this uh, stock pack list. And sort the form. And now uh, you can see uh, the newly added inventory ID here and the warehouse and the notch here and uh, what we also want here is that uh, okay we need to uh, set the formula for the form to reset open submission so we just go to here uh, on to set uh, we will reset the form Edit form five. Edit form five. So we will reset this form. Uh, open open submission. And uh, what we also want to do here is that uh, we 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 want to allow user to add as additional item if they cannot find the inventory in this list they can create a new one uh, uh, and how can we do this uh, so we want we want to utilize this uh, field the search field here the search field here uh, uh, here that this is the reason we use combo box rather than uh, the uh, the drop down because the, it drop down there is no such field uh, so we can add the drop down here and we see uh, here there is no uh, there is there is no uh, there is no um, short field so we can look at the component uh, the um, the component in the um, uh, drop down here as you can see here there is no search field and now come back to the uh, combo box uh, how we can uh, use uh, use the search field for user to add additional or uh, a new item um, so here we have the update here earlier we use the update the selected result right and uh, what if uh, user they don't select any result here from the list but uh, uh, they add the information in the search field so we, we will update that search field so this is the idea and how can we uh, put in as the formula so we can do is the if function right if uh, uh, is blank so if this result is not selected so it's blank uh, then we will use the combo box 10 uh, short view the short text right and then if it is selected then we use the selected result okay and now let's test the formula so here uh, let's say we add new item here right so we add the new id one two three for example yeah so for example an inventory quantity is one 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 and not that is and a new item not and we click submit and now we go back to our uh, stock tech list and refresh 
see if we can get the new inventory item yeah you see now we have a new ID 123 which is not in the inventory I inventory list here so in this list we don't have any item uh, with the ID as the new um, new ID 123 Mm. Yeah, so this is the newly added ID. So we hope that you enjoy this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.